My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. And Jake, tell them how dumb you got over the weekend. James, you know that's a fib. I did not get dumb over the weekend. We had a delightful time at your baby bro's bachelor party. I forget what it was. Birthday party, graduation party, bang biscuit. We had to show the kids what's up, Jimbo. You had it, I had it, we all had it. And we saw some Yankees games and some sweets. Yeah, we had a hell of a Fancy weekend. weekend for us. Three hours in traffic as well. Not as fun as Not the rest. as much fun. Jim, you know what was fun? A moment from that very weekend and almost a breakdown. Getting to it right away. Jake is a champion. And you got to break down the celebration here because it is delightful. Opening up, we have my dad giving Jake a pump-up speech, and Jake oh looking God. around thinking, oh, my God, I'm not ready. I can't do this. I can't do it. I'm not ready. <laughs> but he's pumped up, and it's 1v1 flip cup. It started as 12v12. My brother giving Jake a little massage. He's looking a little wonky there. Yeah, a little close-up. Okay, now here is the— And she's a professional flip cup player. Yeah. Not a lot of people know that from the, the video. No, yep. Yeah, this She was actually Wait, like— Are adding more beer to my cup? A little—that's yeah. uh, an it's intentional foul. That's a good move. Foul. Yeah, we actually paid her to be there on my team. And then, okay, are you ready? Quick rules recap. That's just smart. Here we go. And if you see the timing there, I mean— Okay, so this is where it gets great, Zach. He wins. He gives himself a little fist pump. Just high five. A fist lot pump. of celebrating in the background from everybody, and uh, like it everybody should be stated, is so happy. our team was built on team unity. The opposing team, Jimmy's team, was not. So when well, we no, did it, it we was were a pretty. We were pretty unified. Uh, no, and then Jake takes the jersey off right away, and look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Cousin Dude, is this in is on the, it. <laughs> this is the best shot. Just, a champion. That is a, a champion. champion celebration. And my dad, uh, Gary. This is where things get a little twisted. My up. dad, a Gary Sanchez enthusiast, he was looking for the double water bottle uh, so he could start celebrating. But, you know, a gentleman's, a, gentleman. a gentleman's, you know what? Mid celebration, it was a great game. Real recognized, real. Was, she was a mercenary. We hired her real just to beat you. Real. She didn't get the job done. And then, and then, uh, and then the head then rub, the emotions take, and over. the emotions take over. <laughs> <laughs> As my dad scurries in the Look background to find some things to pour on your head in celebration, mm-hmm. and and uh, yeah, let me move this because you the know way. I I knew if victory happened that there was going to be a celebration. <laughs> I did not expect to be covered in beer, <laughs> and I didn't think your dad would be the leadoff hitter. <laughs> this shit cracks. On the beer pour. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, actually, if you could go back a little bit. So on the left there is my sweet Jessica, and you can see she's coming over to be supportive, and then she sees the beer pour, and she does, ah, okay, no, yeah, not into no, this. No, never mind, though. I'm not going to. No, thanks. And then, and an then, and uh, then yeah. yeah, champagne comes over. and the, yeah, the girls in the back get a little more confidence when they see me getting beer poured and, on. Uh, the lip reading here, this is the best moment of my life. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, Jake's a champion. That's almost a breakdown. Internet sensation. It's not a big deal. This, if this isn't, I mean, this shot right here should be framed in that's our a, office. No, that's at my fu- that's, <laughs> That is a that's, moment of triumph. Welcome to the funeral of Jake Storielli. And that's what welcomes you. Yeah. And then it's my body on strings. A cardboard cutout of you. What a moment. One of the best moments of the weekend, a lot of people are saying. A lot of people are talking about it. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. All right, let's move on to sports. Sports. Jimmy, speaking of wins and losses, your Atlanta Hawks continue to roll on Trey Young. People like him. People hate him. But kind of the story is the 76ers trust the process. Ben Simmons, the not shooting thing, it's been around, and it was highlighted on the biggest stage, Game Seven. What was it? He took four shots in the fourth quarter in the whole the whole in the whole series. They posted his Zach's got his shooting numbers out here. He just didn't shoot in the fourth quarter. He just doesn't shoot. He had an open dunk in a Game Seven fourth quarter. They needed it, and he passes it to a guy who's not an offensive threat, who is guarded by someone. Tybal, good defender. Embiid gets the reaction. It's just it's bizarre. 
I fully understand it. It's how I, I had a group of friends once that would play basketball a lot, and I didn't really want to play or be part of that. Sure. But they would say, come on, play. So I just go and I just pass it a lot. I just run up the court and then pass it. And then my another friend was like, why don't you shoot? And I was like, because no one, I don't want to shoot. No one wants me to shoot. I don't even really want to be. I'm just playing to play. And then he would always pass it right back to me. And then we would get into a little bit of a pass off. Like, dude, I'm not going to shoot because I suck and I don't want to play. But I'll pass it to you, and then and then you say, I pass it to you, you make it a bucket, and then you say, nice pass. You make it a bucket. You make it the bucket, <laughs> and I say. on the Italian national team, people forget Yeah, that. well, it was a bunch. It was a foreign exchange student, yeah. You make it a bucket. Yeah, and no, then you tell a, me, nice pass. There's a fun moment on every basketball team when you have too many passers, and you're doing extra passing, and it's fun. It's kind of like, the oh, whoa. Yeah. That's every moment for Ben Simmons, and he's 6'10", and should be able to score very easily at times. If I was one of his teammates, I'd say shoot a couple times. Where do you think Ben Simmons ends up this offseason, Jim? I know you've been all over this. Uh, Cayman Islands. I could see him going on a nice vacation. A really nice vacation. Yeah, he needs it. So check check his posts. Check his posts. <laughs> Italian basketball team. <laughs> Not many people know that about you. Yeah, well, it was me, a bunch of Italian ex- foreign exchange students. What's the next even? Oh, not sports. Do I have a story for you, Jake? Mm-hmm. This dude, his name is Ryan Canoff, and he went skydiving naked 60 times in a 24-hour span. And he said, don't worry, it wasn't just for the sake of being nude. Mm. And then he went on to say that he did it for the Guinness World Record, most naked skydiving jumps in 24 hours. But then he also said... That he did it for awareness for mental health and suicide prevention. And, hey, Ryan Canoff, you're a liar. Yeah. Because if you did it for awareness, you would have, like, done, like, you know, raised money. or done. You did it because you wanted to break the record and you're, like, a nudist. Jim, I, I was with you, but I, I think we got to pump the brake. Sometimes the best way to raise awareness is doing what you're good at. And Ryan Canoff is good at getting naked, jumping out of plane on repeat. He's good at spending a lot of money. 60 times. All the money that you spent to do 60 skydiving jumps and pay for the Guinness World Records, just donate that to some charities. Did you read the name of the airport? Weeping Water Airport in Nebraska. You think he peed during any of the jumps? What an exhausting day. What are the rules on that? Can you pee mid jump? Uh, Zach, name your favorite charity. Or something that needs awareness? Uh, breast cancer. Okay. That's the most consecutive paper rips in this studio, in the history of this studio, official, and I did it in uh, awareness of breast cancer. And now for the for the rest of the show, I'll reenact the, the jumps. I <laughs> read <laughs> might be might be some of the worst reenactment. I mean, I mean, Ryan Canoff, if that's accurate reenactment, bizarre. <laughs> horrible. A horrible jumper. <laughs> You're a horrible yeah, jumper. Flopping around in the plane naked. Like a chubby floppy fish. Yeah. So good I job, mean, Brian. Good job. You have the world record and you lied about doing it for something you that think you think is one do. pilot? No, because don't pilots hours? have a ton of rules about how often they can fly and like a stretch so, and stuff? You think the Weeping Water Airport in Nebraska? This might have been the first plane that's taken off from there. Good job, Ryan Canoff. And when I say good job, I mean the opposite. I think you wasted a lot of time and money. Bum, 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 bum. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee. Employed. He of is weak. This week. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? First time ever. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. You're a home run champion. Trevor Plouffe. Trevor Plouffe goes back to Minnesota, wins the home run derby. The entire crowd chanting, Trevor Plouffe is so good. Plouffe. Plouffe. Maximus. Plouf. Maximus. Plouf. They started playing Gladiator Plouf. on the big screen to get people excited Plouf. about it. He, Congrats, he, Trev. He hit really cool home runs. We're proud of him. We didn't know he had that much juice in him. He didn't know he had that much juice in him. And his birthday was Father's Day. Like, Trevor Plouffe, what a week, baby. What a weekend for him. Oh, happy Father's Day if you're a dad. He got laid. You think so? I know. That was a weekly dumb. Support for this show was brought to you by Keeps. Keeps. Keep your hair. 
If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, you should, because two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. So go to keeps.com slash dumb and click on the link below in the description to see 50% off your first order. Get treated from home. It's easy. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash dumb. It was me and Bette Midler making love. Back when I used to have hair.